In another life, I would have been another Jane Goodall or Diane Fossey and have spent most of my days watching and learning from our closest relatives, the great apes. So this book, Half Brother by Kenneth Oppel, was right up my alley. It's about a boy named Ben whose family moves to Victoria, British Columbia in Canada. So his parents can conduct a research experiment by having a baby chimpanzee named Zan live with them and learn sign language. The story takes us through Ben's experience of moving to a new place, making new friends, getting a new baby brother, dealing with the experiment, and learning to love Zan as a member of the family. Unfortunately, the research project ends and Ben and his family have to decide what to do about Zan. This story covers the SEL themes of what to constitutes a family, responsibility, caring, love, acceptance, relationships between parents and children, relationships between friends, trying to fit in and find your tribe, romantic relationships, and the differences between facts and feelings. Our interesting fact for this Socratic Seminar Review is that this book actually has a basis in reality. In 1967, two researchers, a husband and wife team, began a project at the University of Nevada in Reno to teach a chimpanzee named Washo American Sign Language. She was raised as part of the family, frequently wearing clothes and eating meals at the table with them. She learned approximately 350 signs. One of her unique signs was when Washo saw a swan. Not having the sign language for swan, she signed water and bird to indicate the word swan. As she learned more signs, she often combined signs with different meanings. Washo passed away at the age of 42. Thanks for listening to another Socratic Seminar review. As always, be sure to check out our links below for our blog posts and the Socratic Seminar links to our lesson plans. Take care and have a great day.